What's up there, buds? Howdy. How you doing? I am doing well. Yeah. Can you see? Your eye looks great. Thanks. So, uh, Steven bought this, this new car. I think it's supposed to get really good fuel economy. Yeah, I was looking for a compact. Yeah. So I could get in at the hospital uh, under the parking garage. Yeah, yeah. And it's like a seven foot eight height. And so. You had to get something I probably small. won't make it on the first try, but. If you ram a couple times, it'll be the, clearance permanently. Maybe. Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's my new compact. This is really nice. Yeah. It's a great purchase. Yeah. No, it isn't. This is Matt's. Imal Omed. Oh, wait, hang on. Demo Limo, brother. And Matt, uh, well, Matt's really proud of this rack back here. It's super stout. You know? I mean, it's basically like glued to the back bumper, so it should be good. Back bumper's got a couple pieces of C-channel holding it. No, we're actually deleting this thing. This thing's a piece of garbage that's hanging off the back of it. Originally, we were gonna try to like shore it up and make it better, but Matt was like, dude, I don't think that's possible. And we agree. So, we got a couple things that we're gonna do. Logan's getting started on it right now, taking all this really nice okay. engineering off of here. Because we're moving this generator up to the top. Up on the roof, up yonder. There's a couple of steel runners that are up there and we're going to uh, attempt to take the generator and mount it up top. And we're going to pull this whole assembly off the back side of it, cut everything off, shorten the harness up so that it still has a trailer plug, but put it in the back bumper. Um, we have a kit here to put a receiver hitch on the back, like a weld-on kit. I forget what company we bought it from, but... Kurt. Is it Kurt Manufacturing? Yeah. We've done a couple of them before, not at this shop, but at the old shop we've done a few. Um, I think two actually and both of them were on a bus so this should fit pretty good and we'll cut us a little notch uh, in the back side where you have a receiver like this but mounted up in there and the plug I already said that once but I just said it again we're gonna put a trailer brake controller in it and what else are we doing to this thing generators going up top trailer brake controller junk box delete kit shorten the wiring and then a ladder to get to the generator and then a ladder Nothing, yeah, nothing crazy. And then he's taking this thing and going up to Indy. Yeah, I think like half a bunker's riding in this thing up there. And Matt wanted us to go, but it's on my birthday. Yeah. So I think it's the May 6th is like a Saturday. Yeah, 6th and the 7th, I think, is when the event is. And so we're not going to make it. No, we got family coming in town. Okay, so we finally found our kit and it was hiding in the office where, uh, where I left it. Yeah, and where the parts actually go. So this is our kit from Kurt. I don't know what the part number, oh yeah, 13702, bud. And it has the receiver hitch piece in the middle and then it's got some of this tubing, it looks like about 3 16 wall. And um, so what you do is you go do some measurements, right? So you determine what the frame width is on the bottom, that's what this flange is for, and you drill up 
through and into the bottom of the frame and you actually bolt this piece to the frame. And uh, well, this thing is actually run wild. It's long so that you can, well, put it on any application, right? Oh, Up sure. to this wide. And um, once you have that determined, then this piece slides on to where you're gonna be, which the finish, this is the finished edge, right? So then it, this is gonna slide up, shy. right? Just just like yeah. that. Yeah. Just like that right there, enough to weld. To oh, it. okay, yeah, we're leaving just enough hanging out so you yeah. can get a really hot weld and grab just like this. So be similar size weld, you know, a little bit of material hanging past. That way you grab the meat there and here, weld that all the way around, weld the inside of this piece. You do the same thing on this side. Then this assembly fits, if your measurements are right anyway. <laughs> and you set it up there, you drill the holes, and you bolt the thing on, and you rock and roll. Yep. So it looks like we'll probably have to notch the back bumper, uh, judging by the way this looks. Now I don't know off the cuff if that's going to have to be notched or if it fits yeah, underneath the back bumper. I don't know. Be close. We're gonna we're, we're gonna have close. to see. But this is the next step in getting a hitch on the demo limo, baby. All right, so this thing is welded off and this is done. And this thing, well that thing's not going anywhere. That thing is welded all the way. It's been painted and cleaned up. That thing is rocking and rolling. Now I gotta mount this thing, which it looks heavy and it is heavy. That thing, I bet it's at least 150, 200 pounds, huh? Yeah, it's every bit of that. Right? Yeah, I went it's to move heavy. that thing last night and lo dislocated my L1 through L9. I don't even know if there's that many L's in your spine, but it's heavy. So um, now we're working on the rack to mount that. I might have actually said that already. About half dumb, so just hang in there with me. But uh, this rack is going to go up on the roof. There's a couple of uh, pieces that run across the top side of this. And there's a few different ways to go about attaching these. And we're kind of using our best judgment. So these runners are pretty stout as far as vertical load goes and you know this way there's a thousand rivets in each one so what we're going to do is is put some rivet nuts in it uh, once we build that cage down there that logan's working on the generator actually sits inside that cage and the cage is going to mount to the roof this is where matt wanted it and uh, so that's what we're going to do um, if i pass out and flop on the ground and foam at the mouth it's because this guy made me have a seizure so just uh hit him up if I if if anything happens to me all right it's definitely his fault um but the plan is to set that thing up here once we have the frame welded up and put a bunch of rivet nuts uh in the top side of this aluminum and then attach through the frame into this aluminum so a rivet nut is basically like a pop rivet but it has a threaded nut insert inside of it and you can take something like this and drill a pilot hole in it and pop that rivet into place and then you can bolt something down and the rivet's actually mushroomed on the bottom side and when you when you tighten it up it uh, it grabs via that mushroomed out piece on the bottom and allows you to attach something so we're going to put more of those in there than well than it really is going to take um, just for a safety measure to make sure the thing doesn't fly off the roof now it's it should be attached strong enough that um, it shouldn't go anywhere as long as Matt doesn't rip that thing off and drive through the trees or anybody driving it for that matter. Um, it ought to stay there. So, um, it's a Honda, so it actually, it runs pretty quiet. I don't think it's going to be too loud inside the cabin of this thing. Um, I think if we had more time, we would probably mount it on some rubber isolators, like some kind of thick chunks, but getting parts last second is like next to impossible and matt hit us up last week and it's basically that that put us at two weeks before they leave to go to indy and we're leaving tomorrow morning we're gonna be gone thursday friday saturday and we're driving home sunday so that only leaves us the five days next week to fix the exhaust leak on ranch chain go over that thing and make sure it's ready to go and to finish up all the stuff on this and we still got the trailer brake. we got the trailer brake controller you all right yeah. <laughs> trailer brake controller to install and run the wiring for that the hitch it which is done and then we got to mount the generator up top um, he asked us to put a ladder up there as well um, 
but he did say if we couldn't get to it that they would knock it out. So we're going to try to do everything that we can. doesn't look like we're going to be able to make the ladder happen in time because we're leaving tomorrow morning early. So um, we're going to get everything done that we possibly can. And uh, yeah, keep going. So Logan's got the pieces cut over here for this. <clears throat> we're using some, I think this is inch and a half angle. Two. Two inch angle. And uh, it looks like it's eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths. So more than stout. Uh, for what we're doing. This is definitely stronger than the aluminum that it's mounting to. So we'll get this thing tacked up. Logan's got this over here on the workbench using a square to get the corner squared up, tacking all that stuff up so it doesn't twist too bad whenever he goes to weld it off um, and warp around. And he'll stitch this piece, you know, there, 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 there to keep this thing from warping around. Then we're gonna, we're gonna set it up on top of the roof and we're gonna drill holes through this. We're gonna pilot through this piece. And then those pilot holes that are underneath this will actually take the rack back off finish those holes out to whatever size they need to be, quarter or three eighths or whatever. We'll pop our rivet nuts in. And because we use this as our template for pilot holes on the roof, all those are gonna line up perfectly. And uh, basically we set it up there and attach the generator to it. And we should be done. I think so. So Logan's gonna rock and roll on that. And we're gonna start working on the trailer brake controller. So y'all hang in there. I'm good, high wise. Turn it off. Hey, let's get up there and check it out. Steven said gizzards come out. Can you see what I had for lunch? Yeah, I can see what you had for lunch in there and breakfast. This has a 12 valve in it. It's got a, it's got a kitty cat in it. It's gonna be tight once it's in there. It's fucking dang. Yeah, dude, this thing fits tight. Ground on these a little aluminum subframe pieces, but we need to go back the thickness of the hole. pretty tight. Yep. So what we ended up doing to keep the fasteners from hanging out the bottom of the rack, because as you can see already, this piece is kind of sitting on the roof just a little bit. We drilled through the side of this into this aluminum because it's solid aluminum. It's like five eighths or three quarter. And so we've got four perimeter bolts that bolt this piece to this frame. Going. And then the frame itself is bolted down and been siliconed into, into place on top. So. Ready to see if she works? See how much vibration we got. Bro! Let's check. Dude, there ain't nothing wrong with that at all. I can't. You should go see it. Uh, Let me go inside. If you hear anything, yeah. Let's go inside. Hand me that plug, Willie, really, and uh, that way we can load it up and, you know, like with the AC on. Uh, hold on. Can you do that? Yeah, I've got a, it's got a wire tie and all that around it. Let me just, let me just go and. Let me go in there and see. Let's go see what it sounds like inside. Oh, dude. That is not bad at all. Straight up. That's, that's awesome. That thing is right there. And you can't, like you can hear it, but it ain't bad at all. Bros. That is like almost silent. Really? It is all like it's it couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Alright, that's a win. That thing's pretty tall off the ground, dude. Like this dude, we were talking about it earlier. It's bolted so good. That boss will backflip if he goes under a low bridge. Yeah, the only uh kind of the only dilemma is putting gas in her. Yeah, uh, dude, like you pull up, imagine the pump there, you need that handle to go all the way up and up to that thing. I don't know about all that, bro. Yeah, you had to get like a aircraft. You know, they fill aircraft yeah. in air. Yeah. You need one of those guys to come in while you're on 10. 
give you a gallon and a half. <laughs> yeah, and you'd be good. <laughs> yeah. So not a big deal. Just, you know, aircraft. <laughs> aircraft yeah, sure. fly in and just get you filled up. I just need a gallon. <laughs> just That's a all. Gallon. Yeah, I got cruise set, 65. Yeah. I mean, I guess once there's like a ladder rack getting up there. Won't be so bad. I don't have to carry five gallons of gas. No, there, so. again, Matt said put it up there. Yeah, Matt. Get to get and there's, the gas I mean, there. honestly, there's not really a whole lot of other space to do it. You would have had to have mounted it on a rack on the back of this thing, and he was he was just over that because they wanted the trailer to draw up tight to yeah. the back of it, and without engineering like some serious I beam that comes out of that thing to do it, it just wasn't feasible in the amount yeah. of time we had. For sure, you need to start so. a butt longer bus and chop your bus down. Yeah. So that's what you got, Matt. Enjoy. All right, on to the rest of it. We're building stairs. Yes. Building a ladder. A ladder. And so we're gonna attach to these hard little, whatever those are. I don't know the name. I don't know. No one knows what those are called. If you know what they're called, leave a comment. Because they look like ribs. Ribs, we can call them ribs. So we're gonna drill into those ribs and we're gonna put some rivet nuts in them. Gonna put some pieces of angle iron to fur these out because you can see that this is, this is sticking off the side of this thing a little bit. Got this little shelf, so we're gonna bring the ladder out where it doesn't touch this, where all the plumbing's running for this Insta-Hot. And uh, we're gonna make it where the ladder will fit on the side of it, fur it out, give you access to get up there and add gas to the generator, plug your stuff in, undo the bolts so you can get it off of there, whatever. And this is basically uh, one of the last couple things we have to do. We've got to wire in a brake controller and run the wiring from up there underneath the dash to the back of this thing and then hook up the plug and the receptacle for the trailer to plug in. So that's what we're working on right now. Logan's actually got some of that. <clears throat> He's got part of his ladder done over here. A couple of rungs using one by two. Looking solid, this thing ought to be super stout. And uh, it ought to look pretty good. All right, so this will show you what we were talking about. Piece of angle iron, rivet nut behind this, bolt that on, set the ladder up and tack it. And then we final weld it. Yep. And then we're gonna tie the top end to the bottom side of the framing of the generator little basket thing and we're gonna make that where it will unbolt so that this whole ladder can be unbolted and that whole box up there can be unbolted and the generator can be unbolted it's all kind of a modular little unit so if you need to do something you can still unbolt it and get it out of your way and I think it uh, it actually blends in pretty good it looks I think it looks good it's definitely stout enough out of that one by two Go anywhere. No. It's 11 gauge. Yeah, dude. It's so damn near eighth inch, right? Yeah. yeah. That ought to be pretty solid. So Logan's rocking and rolling on that. And we still got a wire and a brake controller. We had a, a new one in the box show up broken. So we ordered another one. It'll be here around one o'clock. So we're pushing it to be done by the end of the day with everything and get all of our tools wrapped up and make sure everything works. But we're gonna shoot for that and hopefully we get there. Um we also got this car. Y'all might recognize this thing. Ranch Tang Pootie Tang. Come on. This thing's still alive, soldiering on. How you doing down there, Twelver? I'm doing great. What are you working on down there, Twelver? Um, uh, we had a major exhaust leak because <clears throat> the uh, up pipe bolts done done rattled out, basically. Done R U N N O F T. Yeah. So. I'm getting them good and <clears throat> tight. Ten four. And uh, this shouldn't be a problem again. Well, you look good. You got Cheetos in your belly button, but that's all right. Yeah, sorry about that. I ain't yeah. bathed in a week. Ten four. Well, we'll forgive you. Um. Yeah, folks. That that appears to be the only thing wrong with this car. We were just remarking how there's no oil drops or drips or anything underneath. The bottom of this thing and uh it's proven to be pretty pretty damn reliable for as bad as it gets abused yeah matt put power steering on it and new coils and shocks and i think from what he said it's much better to drive so it's going back to uh indy 
where they won. Hopefully it'll win again. Hopefully it'll win again. Pretty excited about seeing this car again. This thing's just freaking cool, man. This thing is fugly, but it's also so awesome. Like, I, I don't know what it is about this car that is legit, but like some of these three quarter views of this thing, they just look, they just look awesome, dude. So we're getting wrench tang ready to roll, checking all the fluids and all the basics, but so far everything looks, looks good. Uh, hopefully we won't find anything, anything dumb. It does take a little ether to start every time when it's cold. Yeah, I think it's a little wounded. Hashtag power stroke problems. Yeah, welcome. If you're a sick though guy, you probably use ether. Yeah, without glow plugs. I mean, they usually start, and it, it, when it was a brand new engine, it fired up pretty easily, but. Yeah, they usually start when it's all brand new. Yeah, we've got a. Uh, Half the time it doesn't. <laughs> it's been abused a little bit. It's been hot a couple of times. It's been a few different things, but uh, it's still soldiering on, so. Ready? Yep. I didn't see much coming out of there. Must be pretty tough, dude. I expected that thing to be a little bit of a choo choo train yeah, at this point. Yeah, jogging out of there. Ah, this thing's been throttled. A, a bunch of it's been caught on video, but a lot of it hasn't been caught on video. Yeah. It's been abused. Like, I mean, it hasn't been abused a lot. Yeah. Man. Alright guys, so we are just about wrapped up on the bus. Bumper stuff is done, wiring's been knocked out for the trailer, all that stuff's run, trailer brake controllers installed up front. We ran all fireproof wire back to the back of this thing. We use really good wire from Lawson. It's expensive, but it's good. Um, and I say fireproof, it's like fire resistant big time. But we've got our 30 amp auto reset breaker set up, power from the batteries run into the cab, trailer brake controller mounted, single blue wire run all the way to the back. We tied into everything back here. Um, we fixed this receptacle, it was messed up. They had, there was quite a bit of cross wiring back here. Put a license plate light on this thing, tied into all the wiring, which we had to get behind both panels. Um, back here, actually remove these panels pull the insulation out, get in there, tie into the wiring on both sides, punch it through the floor because it's a bus. Um, and it has individual blinkers and taillights. Had to get a five to four wire converter, wired that thing in up underneath then tied out of that down into this receptacle. And then of course ran our blue wire um, for the trailer brake controller um, so that Matt's got what he needed to drag a trailer. Controllers mounted up here clean underneath the dash right there. So that's looking clean. And then we moved his grandpa recliner out of the way. And Logan is over here right now fabbing up the bracket that's gonna hold the seat. So we had an extra third gen seat sitting upstairs and um, we decided that, well, we weren't using it. So I told Matt, hey, you can have it. He was looking for one. So we've got this third gen rear seat. It's actually a really nice seat. Um, Logan's making brackets for it so it's not completely sitting on the ground. We had set them in there initially and it's like your butt's this far off the ground. So we're gonna get it picked up where um, all the guys from Bunker that are riding with Matt up to Indiana um, can ride with, well, ride in style. So that's the last piece of it. Once that thing is done, we'll get it mounted up inside and we'll be done. Generator is up in its rack, mounted solid. Ladder is installed, solid. All the junk's cut off the back, touched up the paint on the rear bumper. We got everything knocked out. This thing is just about ready to go. So Matt's planning on be here at five. We got about 40 minutes before he's here. So we're gonna have to hustle. Logan's just about done welding that thing. We're gonna shoot some black paint on it, get that seat over there mounted to that frame and set inside the bus. And this thing is headed to Indiana tomorrow morning. All right guys, so we just finished up the demo limo. Bus stuff. Matt and Steven were doing bus stuff in the back. I had a phone call. You were there. <laughs> you were there. I was there. 
you, you were in the middle, actually. I feel ashamed now. <laughs> Never thought that would happen. But we had a good time. We knocked all the stuff out for Matt. We got everything done, rock and rolling. And we just finished putting the bench seat in. We didn't show you all the bench seat that Logan just knocked out. Let's go check it out real quick. So we had a third gen Dodge seat sitting upstairs. Didn't have time to paint it. Matt's, Matt's got a hustle. So we slung grandpappy's chair right here in the middle. But check us out. We're rolling hard in here. We got plenty of room. I love it. No big deal. Now Matt's got 25 people going on this bus, so I don't know how that's gonna be. We may pick up some people along the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in! Woo! This is great. So now you just gotta go to Indy and win it, dude, in Ranch Tank. All right, here's the deal. What do you? What would you put on the odds of this bus pulling a big trailer making it all the way to Indy? Oh, I feel pretty good about it. I kind of. I know too. nothing about it, but. I got faith, man. <laughs> Dude, it fired right up. This thing's actually... It like, runs good. I drove it all the way back from Tulsa. I was going to say, out of all the things that you've owned that we've worked on, this might be the most solid. <laughs> it's the most reliable. <laughs> it's got a cat diesel motor in it, an Motors. Allison transmission. Yep. Dude, this thing's, this thing's good to go. So, hopefully it doesn't have any issues. They're going to run the generator the whole time, I think, on the yep. way up there. I think so. There's uh, quite a few people that are going, so we wish you the very best, Matt. We hope Thanks. you win it. Thank hope you. Ranch Tank lives through it. Ranch Tank. Yeah, Ranch oh, Tank. That's a better name. Dude, I think if it wins up there this time, we got to call it Ranch Tank. I'm in. All right, dude. Thank you all for watching. Till next time. Later. Later. Later.